Hello, we are back on Safina with the adventurers in Svavl Winter, the role-playing game, Sulfur Winter, the Conflux Saga, book two, chapter, I have no idea. This show is rated R because all the horror... We're terrible. Oh, but I even... I was rated R for Artigue. Pirates. This, some... this has nothing to do with... You know, massive war crimes and lots of fornication. Human sacrifice is one thing, but it's the smoking. <laughs> With us tonight, from the left, we have Sir, 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 are you? Not, uh, I'm not really a Sir. I'm the infamous Rob, and I get to play Sir Artigue <laughs> de Fontris Lore, who is, well, he's definitely a hero if you grade on the low, low bar of he grew up in Fontris Lore. This is a low bar. Right. Set your expectations down here and he'll clear them every time. It's great. And then we have Sifano. I am Goat. I am playing Sifano de Crimbid, the necromancer of the group. And, well, I'm just more of a sorcerer of the group who specializes in necromancy. But we'll see what other flavors of magic I can get into soon. All of them, apparently. Here's hoping. Gotta, gotta catch them all. Where? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, presumably by process of elimination, that's me. Yes. So, everyone, I'm Jess. I play Lady Brittany Wallace a recovering mean girl, maybe. We will see. Yes. I'm not so sure. She and heroic compared to the characters I used to play. Fair point. Yeah, we'll see, you know, the NPC race in terms of like Malik. Yeah. No. Malin itself was not terrible. It was. Last but not least. I'm Alan. I'm playing Bodonius, Monk of Rands, trying to ride herd on this group of, well, you know, spying the Oracle. That yeah. somehow will help us. Hopefully. And so we're doing approximately what we're supposed to be doing. Mm. He has a real funny way of saying hero, doesn't he? Mm. That was... Must be why he never calls us that. Yeah. That must be the yeah. So, we have a recounting of the last session to do, and I'm looking over my notes here. According to my notes, Sir Artigu has a lot of fate dice. And Fuck. so does Fanu. How many do your notes say I have? Eight. Oh, okay. I will happily do the recal. Uh, so it has been a while. As best I recall, uh, Eldred did bit some divination on the events to come and found that we would need to, there would be sort of three challenges ahead of finding the green eye. In one case, we would need to nurture. In another case, I think we had to sing or something. And then the third one, which was the one that we encountered first, we needed to break a curse. We did. Uh, there was a, also a centaur who... Uh, we eventually figured out was trying to determine whether we were uh, Rinaldi or Klushikians. Um And when we eventually broke the curse, we found his good buddy, uh, a Klavikian from like 400 years ago. Uh, or confused Matt. <laughs> yeah, he, he really is quite confused, isn't he? Yeah. I guess that's what happens when you've been turned into a juniper shrubbery for 400 years. I wonder if he was awake the whole time. <laughs> he would be very much insane if he was. So, so they're going shrub, 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 shrub. 
And there was a bit of drama about what what style of magic should be used for breaking the uh, breaking the curse that I'm sure will have no repercussions whatsoever. None. No. We did a perfectly creationist, very naked tectonic summoning ritual. It's great. You did. And and yes, Sir Arctic, you got the chance again to get everybody undressed. It was great. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was that was twice in one session because we all had to get yeah. uh, great mm-hmm. stuff with red buzzard mm-hmm. bat too. Which would worked very well, although we all reaped to high heaven. Yep. Yep. You did that. You did that. Absolutely. Could have made his temporary goal for last session, get everyone naked again. East. You can make that for this session. Uh, uh, Wait, I don't remember what mine currently is. Your what? Oh, right. Temporary goals, everyone. What might... Find the green eye and get back to civilization. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're still finding the green eye. Yep. Yep, that's what I got. That, 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 seems, that seems reasonable. Yeah. Uh, at this point, even Arctic uses find the god's damned oracle. <laughs> Oh, I'm tired dude. of wandering around in this deep cursed forest where it is perpetually damp. <laughs> yes, it is. Though I have some good news on ra- that front. Uh, the uh, rain has, in fact, ceased. What? It is no longer raining right now. It's just kind of dripping. Oh, you wonderful. Are, yeah. As you well, are. Uh, go to bed and sleep, I suppose, because there was a long day, wasn't it? This. 19th day of the third month of the year. Um, and yeah, I, I, I guess we're doing, are we doing shifts? How are we organizing the night? Just for our own clarification, we, so we took the boat down to Lindenheim, where then it got too shallow to take the boat any further. So now we're walking. Yep. Is that right? Yeah. That is correct. And I believe I spent money on that boat, which I had not yeah. had to... Between, yep. between two of us, it was, uh, it was... Brittany's Welk and uh, Stefano's Love Song. Yep. And the flip is at um, the little hamlet, and they asked if they could keep it if we were not for the month. Yep. Well, that's right. Yeah. So there's a chance great. we might get it back. Yep. Yeah, I'm certain, certain we'll recover our property for sure. Of course you will. Of course. Why would you have one no of us faith? will be alive enough to go games? Why would you have no faith in this? Hmm? Where is your faith, man? Um, are we organizing uh, guard shifts in this completely uh, benign and not at all ho- uh, hospitable forest where, or, or um, hostile forest where you actually smacked a couple of mustelons earlier today? I mean, that seems sensible. I know. I figured we'd all just turn our backs to the outside world and sleep comfortably. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, Brittany is pleased to take first watch if uh, nobody else wants it. Okay, oh, everybody is letting Brittany do it because nobody said anything else. I mean, uh, um, your new friend apparently, um, Gada Gormgald, is uh, which is Clavikian. Cool. Oh, uh, no. What? Um, Could I call him Bootmaster? That's his rank, right? Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> Master, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Master of Boots, Gada Gormgald. So yeah, I, I, I presume everyone will keep a watch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we all take a two hour shift or whatever. Yep. And otherwise we'll well Arctic is gonna cuddle up in his finest time, at least. <laughs> I mean he's he's volunteering to take a shift, of course. Uh you know, Gala Gormgal is. Yeah, no, you spent four hundred years as just as a juniper bush bro. Maybe maybe just take the night off. <laughs> He's, he's had 400 years of resting. I think he's probably pretty good. He's uh, looking between the two of you, looking confused yet again, and uh, thou speakest sense, Sir Knight, though I would, oh, yeah. I would do my duty. He, the, oh, no, we got this. It's fine. Thanks. Don't call me, sir. You are a knight, I understand? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Just please don't. 
It's been 400 years. Just, just roll with it for now. Very well, sir. If anything, just get used to walking again. So that must be so good. <laughs> uh, for me, it felt but like the blink of an eye. Oh, that's good. At least we don't have to worry about you trying to drink water with your feet. I wonder... Forgive my confusion. Perhaps... Perhaps the camp I was at was elsewhere. I'm just going to make this easy for you. Uh, the answer to almost every single question you have is dead and gone. Very well. Well, I, I shall mean, um, turn in. Let, there is no, well, at least uh, not on any, any map that I've seen, lake in this area. It's mostly just forest. So I must be confused, then. There must be... I, I, I will have answers in the morning. We'll figure it. They bow. Indeed, my lady. And he, um... Yeah, he's gonna... I mean, he doesn't have a bedroll or anything, because all his equipment is gone, except for his, you know, weapons and whatnot. So he'll just kind of... Use a rock as, as can you sleep on his centaur buddy? <laughs> I'm well, not is sure. Is he still that... around? Yeah, the centaur buddy is, is still around. Yeah, he's uh standing there and uh, he's and, and doing what what centaurs do to sleep, which is probably uh standing up and sleeping. Probably we need that's the tree, yes. He is introduced as Kester. Kester, the Ken centaur. Yes. Um, yeah, so I guess uh, everybody goes to sleep, as it were. Uh, you, Sir Erti, what are we? What is the order here of things? Well, I uh, I oh. wanted to grab first watch. Uh, yeah, Lady Brittany is doing first watch. Uh, I figure second watch is whoever Lady Brittany wakes up next. <laughs> I like it. Gustaki is like, oh, I can do the middle. I don't think anyone's like, going to let Gustaki take a watch alone, but thanks for helping, Gustaki. What? What, what do you mean? You don't even offer to take morning watch then, or right. last watch, whichever way we want to look at it. So, Sifanu, Eldrida, Sirardigu, in some kind of order there? Yeah. But, Ardigu is perfectly happy with Sifanu's answer. Figure out when it's my turn when someone wakes me up. Mm -hmm. All right. That's probably for me to overcomplicate. Unless I get woken up more than once, but yeah, I think I'll notice that. Yeah, maybe. Hey, it's your turn again. No, oh, wait a minute. And Eric. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, Lady Brittany, uh, it's, it's a, a quiet night in the forest, isn't it nice? It's, it's just the sound of probably squirrels and whatever foxes or other animals that might sneak around out here without being too bothered by the mispel seeds. Thanks, so. Yeah. Mostly just sitting here listening to the distant sound of her sisters and brothers uh, far afield. Yes, yes. By now it's it's very distant indeed. But not so distant that she would feel the way she felt that one time. Indeed. Isn't it nice to not feel like that ever again? <laughs> uh, who are you waking up? Oh, she's probably going to wake up the time, yes. Okay. Bodonius knows how to sit quietly and just stare at nothing for two hours, right? Got years of experience just spinning there staring at a blank wall. Yes, yes, he has. Quite patient when it comes to these types of things. 
and and when she's going to roll herself in her cloak slightly further afield from where she normally sleeps with the finest tent. Which means that the watch goes by really fast for Bodonia's. Like it's, yeah. it's hardly started when it's done, right? Practically a vacation. Practically, <laughs> yes. So who is he gonna wake up? I wonder. I oh, wake up Safani next. All right, so we've had one watch and two watches, and we're on the third watch. It's Sifanu's turn. Ooh. Yeah, you you get the worst shift. Isn't it great? Yeah. When you say the worst shift, I just assume this is the shift when shit goes dead. Wow, wow. No, that's the one in the middle of the night when you get, like, three Sleep. plus three Sleep. hours of sleep, which is not continuous. It's yeah, so I was just checking my character sheet, so I haven't taken any damage, so it's not messing me up there. Fair. So it's the mooniest portion of the night, though. It's good for his, you know, non-nefarious moon magic. It's actually fair point. I could sit here and do a little divvying while I figure out what the next day is going to encounter. All right, so what kind of divvying are you going to do? Divining? Divining, maybe? There's the one. Oh, that. Are, are you actually going to do any spell work? Is that what we're saying here? Yeah. Okay. So it's... what kind of spell work are we going to do? Uh, uh, predict the future? See what tomorrow's going to oh. encounter. Uh, so this is going to be moon magic then, or what? Yep. Ah, because of course you can see the moon, in fact, which you can, because it is now very, a little bit cloudy, but not too much. A little bit cloudy. And is that little thingy above the time accurate? Is that a full moon? Do I get a bonus die? Uh, that just marks if it's, um... Uh, night or day, really. Uh, is it a full moon? Is it not? Uh, I don't know. D I, I roll a d4. If you roll a one, it's a full moon, I guess. <laughs> and then we have to remember that. But, uh, okay, it's a full moon. Uh, uh, now we have to remember that. So yes. it's going to be, you know, 30 days. Funny that of all the things your calendar doesn't track, the, the, uh, the moon's not actually. Uh -huh. Well, it would if I had keyed it to like uh, an actual, you know, uh, calendar. Like if I if this mm -hmm. was a, a historic game or such like, it could actually track that. But well, uh, not too much. We don't have to use actual moon phases. You can make make up your own moon phase. It's full moon every ten days. I could, yes. Mm -hmm. um, anyhow, yes, you have you have some uh, full moon going on there. So, is that a bonus die? It is, I believe. Let's have a look. Uh, moon worship. Uh, you get... Always roll water. Um, uh, but a boom. Act okay, so this is what it says. Um, a ritual requires a full scene. Must be cast at night, of course. Uh, how the ritual is conducted is up to you, but it must involve sacrifice, so what kind of... Oh, and visible full moon, you get a plus, plus one, yes. Okay. Hmm. So what are you sacrificing this time, Zifanu? Um... Well, that, like, murder crow bug thing I got in the swamp, I didn't, never really got around to doing that, so I'm just gonna kill that. Okay. So you are putting it into the fire because, you know, you didn't have any other good use for it. Um, so water plus how many fate? Uh, my one, because you don't only have the one rank in it. Yep. So it's four dice. Yes. Yes, it is. Well, Chalice thanks you for your service. I don't know. It's not great. Not great at all, no. With that one on the end, I'm going to use my... My, uh... 
event and whatever you call experience it. networking experience yeah yeah I'm gonna use my experience because I don't want that one on the end there you did have that solstice ritual at King's Cliff mm -hmm. yep. that means that you are in fact uh well your shadow command is to re you've tried to reestablish the soul you worked towards <laughs> the shadow command so I'm gonna right. allow you to actually level up how about that that was my goal for this game to that <laughs> office back it let everyone else run the show No longer a uh, one at the end. It. And you have, in fact, uh, a level three spell Ooh. cast here. You are, uh, describe what we're doing. What you do, or is this a naked dance in the under the moonlight? No, I'm not I'm kidding. It's about. <laughs> not again. It's, it's you already just... had enough naked dance. There's, there's, there's enough of that. Yeah, I'm just going to quietly stamp the moon while I slowly murder this thing. And then you will ask, uh, apparently, three questions. Uh, so you just have to be like, yes, no questions? I'll be suitably vague, so it doesn't have to. Okay. You're getting be your vision. Questions, Bridge Keeper, I'm not afraid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what can we expect to encounter tomorrow? If in if, if for your mind's eye, as you are um, carving into this thing, you, you look into the glittering, um, glittering eyes of this huge bug, and for a moment you think you see like the the um, uh, fire, the 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 flames of the fire reflecting in those insect eyes almost looks like the sun sunlight bouncing off a considerable body of water Ooh. or well not considerable i would say uh, uh, at least a body of water yeah a body of water or missing a lake perhaps mm -hmm. uh, i'm definitely writing this stuff down <laughs> Um, second question. And we trust these two, Caster and Gamagold. Got a Gormgold. Simple. Raptor. It's a simple name. Everybody can remember that very easily. Look, gotta go and go. Um, trust these two. <laughs> That's not a simple yes or no question. <laughs> you will see things in the internal organs of this big bug that you're carving up. Uh, that points to, um, what do they point to exactly? Uh, you are asking me hard questions, sir. Um, you see a very smiling... Uh, Kester, and like this is like the 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 blood splatter on the um, intestines of the bug that takes the shape of Kester, and it looks to you again like the 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 flames are reflecting in the abdominal fluids, uh, like it's the shape of Kester walking around in the glen that you're right now sitting in. Uh, and it's just a big, happy old face. A big, happy old Kester face. She seems, uh, you know, happy-go-lucky in that way that, that, um... People who are very simple to please might be. You know, the, the same innocence that a child would have uh, discovering a new flower. Mm. It's stocky, okay. 
that's that's uh that's Kester. Oh, I'm saying like Kester. Kestaki. Um, for for a boot master Gala um, he uh, uh you can see him signing a contract and underlining it really hard like and then he he puts the seal on it and he puts it next to his heart okay okay So it only makes sense that, that last one would have been two separate questions. Yes, yes, that would, yeah. So, yeah, so that'll, that'll be my three. And as the ritual ends and um, the magic ether dissipates, in your mind, in, your, in the back of your mind, you imagine that Luvena might be whispering to you, and then, then you realize it's not Luvena at all. It's, it's actually Elmesum. <laughs> It's, that's, yeah. Sifanu. <laughs> she tried. She tried. She. Oh. Oh. Oh, Sifanu. She's, she's doing it again. She's, she's. And at that point, Sir Artigu and Bodonius and Elhrida all wake up, and you feel it's like an earthquake, only not the actual earth moving. It's more etheric. Like you're all hit like a, a, a pressure wave of etheric forces that just wallops right through the forest. Oh, good. A magical tsunami. Yes, yes. That's a good way of expressing it. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm guessing you're blissfully unaware. Very much so, yes. But Deidre in England, because she wakes up too. Bedonius. Bedonius comes out. Good old dad. Fanu, what are you doing now? <laughs> are you he just to... assumes that something Safanu in. I mean, it's the best the sockets of the moon. I don't know what they came from over there, pointing in the direction I felt getting hit from. Uh, yeah, that would have been uh, somewhere to the north, northwest, perhaps. So back the way we came. Yeah. It is there because I don't know them magic system well is there something we can do to sort of i don't know analyze it or there's to hear more about it or maybe my scholarship helps with this i don't know your scholarship might help i mean you're you're uh you don't have to since all of you are spellcasters here almost <laughs> um a wind check will will help but you can add your scholarship to that if you want all right she would do by spell of course that that sounds like you're gonna do that. Yes or no? Uh, um. Well, uh, let me. You see do have my... six, actually, not five. I got six. Yeah. Bing, bing. Uh, I I won't I won't this time. I'll just do a wind check. Right. Perhaps we figure out that it's more critical. But yeah, I, I will also make a wind check. No, apparently, uh, Donius does not know. Much more than what I hear. Oh, my God. My We're both kind of clueless. It's been all the night. You're sleepy. Yeah, that. It's just for old oh, God. God. Like, what is that? I, oh, uh. Why can't this shit happen after our first cup of coffee? Yeah, it's definitely. Come on. Sir, or Eldrida, uh, oh, she has one uh, success. I don't know what that means right now, but. Uh. I'll see if Articue has a clue, but let's be serious here. Oh, okay, Articue has a clue. Articue so has a clue. Anyone else? 
the better clue than any, yeah. <laughs> the better clue than anyone else. Are you awake? Someone goes, why is she so far away? Wait a minute, what is this? Uh, that, yeah, what that was, Sir Artig, you, and you will find yourself very surprised that you are the one figuring this out. Like, you're, you're not the scholar in the group. Why am I thinking? Anyway. No, I was going to roll back over and go to sleep and assume Sifanu had this. And then, he, and then he didn't. It's, you know, this point. But, uh, that was, you know, the time when, like, you were in the presence of the, uh, Barbosk shaman? Um, mm -hmm. when he did things without hiding his magic, you would feel it like, uh, uh, a ripple in 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 the earth uh, through the etheric earth and flows, um, just by virtue of him doing things. That it's it's what happens when it reminds you, in fact, of that time when you were doing things in in the province of Moscoria not too too long ago, uh, and it, probably everyone on Palamux felt it because it was such a powerful weaving. It was like that, but times more all right so like having done something really cool once uh and only once uh this uh is this bigger than the ripples from hey i'm making part of a continent fertile again uh, yes yes it is now, how much was your effective uh it was how many sixes do you have wasn't it like six i have it no idea Dumb amount. It was, yes, it was a dumb amount. <laughs> I think it was a five or six, yeah. So, yeah, this was still more. Yeah. Ooh, cool, cool. Well, all right. Uh, now then, I suppose, Artigu is going to uh, reach across the vast gulf between them and uh, poke Brittany till she <laughs> starts moving. We'll have more uh, minutes. No, nah, I think we have to get up someone's foot. There's there's powerful Are magic of foot in what? And what? Yeah, yeah. Someone's casting mega spells out there that isn't Safano. So, just just wanted to you know wake you up in case we all die. Great. And uh, then wander out of the tent. Uh, not putting on my armor first. If you wonder that takes too long. Yeah, be like, so uh, guys, did anybody else feel that? Did they ever? Yes. It was rather unpleasant. We assumed it was something Safari was doing. It wasn't me. I was just having a little chat with the Moon Goddess. Whatever that was, that was huge. It came from over there. I mean, all, I could tell, all I could tell you is it feels like an insanely powerful bit of ritual magic. That's far cooler than anything we've ever done. And we've done some pretty cool things. We have done pretty cool things. So I'm this sure. is finally we made super, it giant super bad. Super powerful, and well, let's be honest. Yeah, we're we're on Inquisition Island, so I'm gonna go with super. But that's also a fair point. The Inquisition will definitely have felt that too, and can handle it. I don't know what type of magic it was. Uh, how and or is there a way to figure that out? There might be a way to figure that out by actually casting a spell to do sense magic, basically. Anyone can do that. I don't think the Inquisition knows we're here, and I would kind of prefer to keep it that way. So, mm -hmm. not great that there was a huge act of magic. Uh, but what a great cover for us. Round... I mean, unless the magic being cast was, in fact, the Inquisition, which makes things even worse. Oh, that would be terrible. Mm -hmm. All right. But ben Donius is going to do uh, fence magic using his tectonic summoning to try and figure out what's going on here. All right. I'm assuming wind. Uh, yeah, let's have a look again. I think it is wind, yes, because it is a general spell, something that anyone can do. Um, could so anyone who's a magic user, yeah, uh, or, yeah. anyone who's a magic could, user, yeah, anyone that, that is any a lady spell caster can do this, yes. You are we quite right. We make a little runic rock so you can search for it yourself if you really want it. 
Yeah. Uh, sounds magic. Uh, difficulty two. Yes. It's Third not even a, a, a spell. It's a knowledge roll. But it, yeah. So it's it's a knowledge roll. Oh, you don't can I things. can I add my tectonic summoning dice or you can or if you want scholarship. Uh, you or can both. use scholarship either uh, either of, of the two. Oh, okay. Well, I'll use I need I get more dice with the tectonic summoning, so I'll well, use you do it. indeed. Yes. Uh, so I'll spend two fate dice on that. Give me five total. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is this You're a thing we can assist on? Uh, um, sure. Or... By rolling win. I'm going to be of no help, so I'm just going to sit there and <laughs> see if I'm hearing any chatter. Uh, pro probably too far away for that, but. So does that give him an extra die? Yeah, that does give him an extra die, yes. All right. Uh, so our Arctic use contribution is sit there and go, no, nah, it doesn't sound right. But that's this plan not a Ah, doesn't sound right. All right. So that's five that didn't. Yeah, yeah, it should be one bone. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so sounds that's like... super helpful. It's just a little helpful. Now that everybody else has been awakened at everything, I'm gonna say that Gistaki will wake up too because Deidre woke up. And Galagormgeld wakes up because he's a trained soldier who always wakes up when things happen in the cab. And when he notices that there is, in fact, no attack imminent, he will not go back to sleep. He will instead string his bow and make sure that no attack is imminent. Um, and when he does that, Gistaki will um, armor up just in case. My eye thumb. Uh, so I think that's seven total, three for win, two for my fate dice, one each from Safana and Artigue. Yep. All right. Who would? Well, there we go. I think that is enough. That, yes. Yes, that will be enough. Um, that would be... Uh... Okay. First of all, let's see now. Uh, first of all, Bedonius, this spell was cast incredibly far away from you. The fact that you feel it is a sign of how powerful it was. Pain. So it wasn't a little ways north. It was like over the ocean north. Yeah. Yeah. So an atomic bomb of magic went off. <laughs> right. Yes, it did. That's not a bad parallel. Across the oh, ocean. Right. That's not good. No. Um, no, I'm that's guessing that's an oracle dying. There is <laughs> again. There are things involved in this spell. Uh, see now, it smells like um, oh, the horrible smell of necromancy. So, extraordinarily powerful necromancy spell just went off. Yeah, that's... yes, it did. That, that's definitely not good. So Bedonius will will share that after he does his analysis and talks it over a little bit with Sabato and and uh, and Artigue. Like, yeah, pretty sure wait, that was right. Wait, that wasn't the only thing in oh. all there. I'll Someone has time. woven in several different traditions here. Sabato. <laughs> <laughs> So what I did not think about necromancy. Is that demonology in there? Oh, even better. Like all the worst things. Yeah, yeah. So necromancy, a little bit of sprinkling of demonology, as powerful as an atomic bomb, somewhere yeah. right way north from yes, there. Yes, yes. All right, then. Well, that narrows my list of suspects down to pretty much one. Um, as you are looking at Shagwanu and, and describing hey. it to, to the others, uh, you will notice that Sufano has a, like a huge ink blot on his neck spreading. That, that wasn't there before. No. Uh, it broke. You got a little something there. Uh, kind of, uh, it's kind of hot. Sifanu on your on your neck. Sifanu, is that new? That take a bit. Some a mirror. Oh, it looks new. Maybe Anthony has her mirrors. 
that had to him. It it feels see, like see the back it's, of his head. It's pulsing. It's like a a a red pulse. A strange beat in your head that is not quite a heartbeat, but something else. El Mesum in your ear is going, what did you do, Sifanu? <laughs> How did you attract her attention like this? <laughs> Who do you think? I don't care, I have no idea. I mean, unless it is Shaggle. I mean, them sound like Parama. Uh, so far, I mean, she went I mean, real, something happened to her. She went real bad. Is there a... You are a medical expert. What is that? Oh, you're looking at with a mirror here? Yeah. Oh, uh, there, there's some kind of runes on the ink lot, like an outer circle of runes. Oh, no. I think I just screwed up myself cursed. Can I read it with my own room match? It... Not quite cartoonish, is it? I'm, I'm going to sketch a copy of whatever it is. Some <laughs> kind of dot outside the room. Yeah, um, Sifano, you now have taken a point of fear. That's fair. I don't know what the hell this thing is. No, 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 no. I'd be a little freaked out there. The fake? Uh, uh. Hmm. In fact, Bedonius takes a look at everybody else to see if anyone else is so marked. You, uh, everybody's looking over, uh, inclu uh, including uh, Danger, of course. And... Uh, uh, nope. How okay. do we, we need to... You hear El, El Mesum's voice again in your ear. Don't you understand, Sifano? We need to be quiet. We cannot attract her attention. She's too powerful for you to handle him. What did you do to make her this angry? It, everything's fine. So, it's fine. Fine? You're marked, Stefano. You're marked. Is Stefano speaking out loud when he answers, or...? Yeah, that was like, she did try not to react to the ghost I can't hear. Well, so far, all I've said is, it's fine. <laughs> It's all fine. Fine. Does this happen often? Can you tell what it is? I'm certainly going to spend the next couple of hours trying to figure it out. Who needs sleep? I mean, we, we tried cutting it off. Would that work? Huh? Not likely. Can right. I make a detect magic roll on this? I suppose like, you can. Let's see. Come sort of curse that I might be able to I, I feel I feel like you have detected that it's magic. Uh, it's most definitely magic. <laughs> what uh, kind of it is and how to get rid of it. Well didn't didn't Bedonius have some insights into that? I thought yeah, well, well, it's it's uh yeah, it's some kind of mark, this is true. And uh yeah, Sifano has been marked by whoever was was uh doing Oh, the mark is related to that massive spell that went off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, that's your third success right there. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's so, I, I think you may have been the target of that spell. Well, what? Who did you upset? Well, I mean, a lot of people, but no one who could do anything that powerful who still have always... Shag might be back. Duh, says El Meso Manger. Ah, all right. Bedonius, you said you thought uh, from your uh, analysis that this was uh, from 
so far away it wasn't even on the island? Correct, yes. Good, good, good. Because casting spells on t- different land masses is a super good power for Shagwell to have. Very well, enthused by that. As, as Bodonius would know, I'm going to send a message to Alan saying, All right. Well, well, well. I guess it's not really a thing, no? Well, I certainly can't do it. Maybe Safana could, but he's the world's most powerful necromancer. I, I did find a workaround. So if I found one, well. Hopefully that doesn't grow into like one of those green people or something. Lords. Bodonia turns a breath as she answers. He's like, large bodies of water degrade magic as it passes over it. Well. No, no, yes, this is, this, this, although that being said, the demonology mixed into this spell may be how it got here. If you, oh, I think it might've traveled through other planes of existence to get here, thereby not traveling over the water. Well, that's horrifying. The life plan, as you said, you discovered a way of casting spell over large bodies of water. It seems others have as well. Mm, yes, yes, unfortunately. Deidre's looking a bit freaked out over this. <laughs> um, does that mean that whoever did this can know wherever we are now? Oh, definitely. Thank you. Seems they do to be able to uh, target in Safani. Not the worst. Well, I don't know. Like, uh, Safani, do you have any siblings or anything by chance? I don't think so. Because, like, she was, uh, she, she did boff your grandpa to death. So I'm thinking that uh, maybe, like, she could... I suppose instead of knowing specifically where you were, she could curse like his entire bloodline or something. Gen, yeah, maybe. It's just a thought. I'm no so kind of it wasn't me. It wasn't me personally. It just happens to be who I'm related to. Oh, definitely you. She was looking for, but but I'm trying not to freak myself and everyone else out too much. But the fact that it happened shortly after you were communing with. The moon? Yes. Perhaps not a coincidence? Yeah. Could be. They were waiting for me to cast a spell to be able to locate me. Uh, but don't use to read the runes on, as part of that weird blotch, uh, mm. you would, that would be a, definitely a scholarship check, I would argue. Ah. All right. Uh, assuming Safani can't read them, the Donius will give it a shot. He cannot, no. Here's another one of those. Shameful that there's no universal language of necromancy. Yeah, yeah no universal language spell. Uh, did I? Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. I'm on fire tonight. But Donius, yes. I was going to say, it's not going to be easy, but with the all. Good job. Um, okay. So, roughly translated. Let's see now. Can I tell what, first, what type of rooms are they? Like, what sort of language? Uh... I have sent you another check. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, to it. Yeah. But now he is, you know, studies it carefully and then stickers a little bit. It, it's the raider are demonic in nature. Desperately need to know what this then. Um, Someone is a little 
critical of your skills, Stefano. Um, I can roughly translate it. It means one who has potential, but is still in need of development and also is a bit of a tryhard. And then me assume we'll start laughing in your ear at this point. <laughs> you can hear in your ear there's like I'm assuming I'm hearing a lot of that from the park. So someone is a little critical of your skills, it seems. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah, sounds like it. Someone's a little annoyed that I killed them. Kind of sounds like professional jealousy to me. Trite. DJ is just kind of, huh? I, I, someone, I, and, and this is no slight to your skills, Safanu, but someone powerful enough to cast that spell, I do not think would be jealous of Anyone skilled? But what? what uh, I, uh, DJ's like, uh, she's looking like if like all the bushes and trees will come alive and attack you imminently. Well, all right then, I suppose false alarm. Uh, sorry for waking you up. Can I have my mirror back? I returned the mirror. You didn't get any, like, gross curse chips on it, did you? Oh, it's covered in those curse chips. Chips. Okay, well, um... This I'm going back to bed. What? Says Dieter. You can go back to bed under these circumstances. I really like sleep. I mean, to be fair, there's not much we can do about it right now. Uh, supposed. Well, actually, I actually had a thought. Uh, you trying to make give me a hand with this. What if we put a concealing rune around this to try to hide I mean not hide the thing hide me from the caster uh, and then everyone he did put it's just like yeah it's, 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 it's I'm exhausted and I can contribute nothing to this conversation cool. yeah. Uh, Gistaki is not going to bed because Deidre's being freaked has made him a bit. He's he's walk he's patrolling the perimeter with his sword and and uh, just in case. And uh, so it's got to go. Just in case Shagul attacks. Heard so she was behind that bush the entire time. So you never know. Just uh, miss the Blair Witch. And I'm sure Gistaki can single-handedly beat up Shagul with the sword, you know, if, if she comes strolling through the glade right now. Um, or not. So, all right, just, just to throw the thought out there into the ring, we did just manage to ritually break a curse. How much like a curse is this throbbing, heartbeaty thing on your neck? Uh, I would say almost 100%. All you need to do is overcome the power level of the caster. Cool, cool. So we're going to need uh, human sacrifice for the parent. I'm sure a centaur will suffice too, of course. <laughs> oh, well, of course. I mean, it's really any sentient creature, right? Human is just the most common. So the stock is safe is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> What? What? I hate your stock so much. What are you doing here? The, the biggest himbo of the group. I think they're just jealous Rick. of how 
how himbo-y he's. Clearly, clearly they're just jealous of him being the strongest man at time before it. Well, yes, it mm-hmm. must be. This is all, all envy. All of it. <laughs> so are you going to do a human, is that what you're going to do? A human sacrifice right now? And oh, case, I mean, I don't, I don't really have a human to sacrifice. I, I think the dummies might have something to say about that. Yeah. I mean, we could also sacrifice a lump sum, but we're kind of short on those, and somebody bought a slew. Yeah. <laughs> one bow, one time. I, I'm not harshing any farther. I'm just saying we have a little less lump sum floating around than we did before. Oh. Or, I mean, I can't convincingly... All right, can anyone think of a reason not to try to bust this curse other than she's much more powerful than we are? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, that had to be a powerful spell, but a lot of that energy had to have been channeled into getting it here, so I don't think it's going to be that difficult. This is like that esoteric learning stuff that you do in, like, classrooms that I did with that. <laughs> Hairy man, uh, naked on the ground. Okay, we our, our schooling was a little different here, so. Oh. I mean, there are several things that you can spend um, sort of difficulty levels on for a spell. Uh, one is, you know, reach. One is hurting people. One is duration. You know, that's that's three examples right off the top of my head, and and but dispelling it to dispel magic. Let's see now. A question we have heretofore not really asked. Great. Um, but it is a thing you can do. Turns out our favorite prior method is kill the spellcaster. <laughs> the funny part is yeah, that yeah, the Rosa much. doesn't really have a dispel thing either. Apparently she did better. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Uh, then... Only could someone's assassin call resurrect her. Hi. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, I wouldn't want to paint you all with the same broad brush. So I think you need to have uh, the same power level as the spell to dissolve it. Power level being more than die five, apparently. Bait die in sixes, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, and our only real comparison here is that it's more than the most success if we ever rolled on anything. Yep. Yep. Cool. Well, it doesn't bode well. Be ready. Right, right. Good luck. All right. All right. Uh, so we need an edge here. Uh, uh, fuck. You know, if we weren't all, if we weren't wanted by the Korean Empire, this is totally the sort of thing the Inquisition might have decided to do. <laughs> The notorious Vicarather and international watching criminal. I've got this thing on my head. No, I'll be with this. No, I'm not going to it. Where? Let's just put aside the arrest warrant and focus on the demonologist slash necromancer who cast it on him. Like, you know, big picture Inquisition. Well, okay, then. I think uh, we're going to need a uh, an edge from something or other to uh, be able to break that curse. Then. Maybe like yeah. an artifact or a place of power or... Uh, if those things exist in this game, then yes. All of them. I want to discover if uh, we can get to a place where someone's shadow power can throw down. That can help, too. You could, yeah. Although none of us have any help on Sabina. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Okay. In fact, you are uh, on the other side of the river from where the shadow powers can have any power, which is, you know, good for you because Inquisition. Here we good. It's not even a choice. Said a uh, a very very powerful anti creationist magic situation happening over here. Apparently, probably. And you know, to think of it, I'd just like to point out now that we're going to be blamed for that the same way we're blamed for everything else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just, be... just, just add the zero to so their one supposed to put this. Sifanu, Sifanu, you hear in your ear again. Yes. 
So you have attracted her attention even though we tried to s be stealthy about things. Go back to my scent. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I mean the voice doesn't doesn't go away, right? No, no, but that way I can respond. <laughs> yeah. So I'll be to myself in front of everybody. <laughs> and and um but see the you left the swamp. You have not done anything terribly powerful. No, no, I just didn't build little shit. I don't know why this one got hurt. Oh my god, no Nerds, shut up, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> you can feel free to get your own tent. Just remember, this is my set. <laughs> Did you stun? She can't be close by. That was the whole point of the thing, it was to travel the distance. I mean, I'm a little concerned that someone apparently decided to spend quite a lot of magical resources to apparently throw some shade on the planet. Doesn't wash. There must be another reason for it. Hundred percent, and I mean, I, and it can't just be keeping tabs on us either. Because again, you'd presume she'd find a stealthier way to keep tabs on us if that's all she wanted to do. Your your companions, I hear what they are saying, Sifanu. They're fools. They do not know Shagul like I do. What do, you do then? What does this mean? Chagul is vindictive, jealous. Okay, you didn't forget that. What does this mean? I don't know. I can't see it, can I? I'm in your ear. You must have reached out and touched something of hers. The mood? Deep. Uh, 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 uh. Her right on it. Sweet. Well, at least now you know that she's powerful, don't you? Now you know how to keep to keep your head down next time. But we know if this next time is even gonna be an issue. I think it's gonna be more like a, she's always gonna know where I am to mess with me. Though, to be fair, if Shagul says you have potential, that is as close to flattery as you'll ever get from her, I think. Watch it. Oh, yeah. Next time she might close you into a tomb for a century. Yeah, I'm assuming she's going to replace me with you. Or you with me, whatever. That's not something you want, Sifanu. No, no, it's not. Sounds awful. It is. You sound awful. Run. Yep, a group of baffled adventurers resume sleep in uh, the glade where you woke Galagormgald. And as the dawn comes on this new day of the 20th of the third month of the year, um, it happened on my watch, Sifanu. Some of you will be more tired than others. Um, hi, Sifanu. You now have a point of exhaustion as well. Mm -hmm. Because you've been up for a while. Also, uh, as you're pondering all of this, you level up. Jack. Yeah. What kind of experience do you want? I think this is a... I heard there was this one time you tried to check all the attention. Oh, well. <laughs> is that what we're writing for your uh, sixth experience here? I attracted Shackle's attention. 
How would I even use it? Anytime you're trying to be not stealthy, I don't know. Oh, apparently she said you have potential. Can you see? Can use it to make magic reroll. Because yeah, I have potential. Gordon, you can. Because I have potential. That, that is. That it's is also one now. For terrible things, clearly. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go with this because it's more memorable than anything else that's happened recently. Shagul gave me a tattoo saying, I have potential. Uh, sure. Non consensual. That's <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Shagul tattooed me. That's funny. Okay, so where are we putting your uh, next ability mark here? Well, I was thinking I might pick up illusionism after spending all that time in Huxo. You did, yes. Okay, then. Illusionism. Now I'm going to have to read the player guide section on that. Level one. There we are. Are we going to rearrange any bloods? No, I don't think so. Um, illusionism is a lot of fun for those who practice it. Uh, you roll, I believe, wind. Um, and yeah, you can do all sorts of things like phantasm, obscure, distort, terrify, confuse. It's it's something you can have fun with. Also, highly anti-creationist, of course. Of course, everything I do is. So I can put that in the Zoom chat there for you all to have a look at if you want. I mean, if you really, if you rather want, uh, uh, like a. I took illusionist class in Hoxo for your experience. That's a possibility too. But I think it's more fun to have been tattooed by Shaggle. It really is. <laughs> to this last hour, how could I not go with? Which also means that Ingolma will have to give you some new Shago shadow command uh, in time. Do not want to do this. A new Shaggle command. No, shadow, shadow command, shadow command. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, some of you have been up for a while here. Ganagormgald and Gistaki have also been up and just patrolling and, and making sure that everything is safe. And uh, you have not been attacked by a horde of zombies or restless dead or demons from the pits or the other planes so apparently yeah you're fine for now They're not our worst night it's not your worst night no i'm thinking eldrina probably went to bed too after all that nonsense happened and uh thus has slept so she can do her uh pathfinding magic which is in fact not magic at all because i have a feeling you want to keep marching Right, right. I I don't uh, I don't think we're turning back from the quest now. No, no. But it's itchy, you guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming whatever that is is hideous. Yes, yes, it is. Ah, uh, on the plus side, it makes the rest of your face look better. Uh, now I'm gonna have to start investing in scarves. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or you rub some fuzzard fat onto it. See if, see if that helps the itching, buddy. See. Look, Eldrina rolled a six on the uh, pathfinding check. Isn't that <laughs> nice? Well, uh, only problem is I think she needs two successes because it's difficult terrain. Aww. Well. Pathfinding in difficult terrain. I do believe she needs two successes for that. Uh, yep. Does she have an experience for this? Uh, didn't her aunt teach her how to live in the woods or something? Already used mm -hmm. it. Damn. 
Uh, yeah, no, the rest of the things probably don't apply. Uh, okay then. That means it's a fail. So... I guess none of us could help her with it? Unless one of you... No, no, you can't in this case, because uh, you need the pathfinding expertise, and the, the terrain is particularly confusing. Though, I will say, you do have Kester the Centaur. Yeah, wasn't he? Like, yes, he was. Uh, he will ask questions about where you want to go, though he is not good at asking questions. Uh, Sardi, Sardi? Stab. Blood, Sardi. I just, man. <laughs> You'd have uh, to explain to him where you are trying to go if you want to. Can the water roll, perhaps? Be helpful? Yes, it can. All right, I'll see if I can, uh, if I can. The resident mean girl. For a combination of charades and <laughs> words. Look at you go. Nice. So, yeah, charades and words. We want to okay. go to, where do you want to go? Oh, uh, well, I'm trying to think, because there was, there, was there was a tree in a valley that we were trying to get to. Was that it? Yeah, yeah that uh, was it. Uh, you were, yeah, uh, you were, I think you were heading towards the mountain, were you? Not... Yeah, the shadow of the mountain or something. Yeah. Oh, Kester is, is, oh, oh, yes, Black Rock. Oh, oh. Bad place. Bad place. Mm, bad. Ooh. What makes it bad? Angry. An angry mountain? Angry, angry. Like a volcano? Kano, Kano. Kano, Kano? Kano, Kano. Literally. Angry. Deep. Ross. <laughs> Lots of savage beasts. Beasts. No, no beasts. What is angry in this place? Water, water. Water. Water, no angry. Water, no angry. Rock angry. Angry rock. Well, I guess we, we do have two experts so you can deal with the situation. Hey, hey Pedonius, I've never actually met a mountain that was angry before. You? No. Well, I mean, I suppose you could mistake a volcano as angry. I mean, yeah, I suppose. The volcano's if, really pretty if you chill. Haven't actually spoken to one. You might mistake a volcano as an angry rock. <laughs> cool. I have a good track record with volcanoes. I'm looking forward to this. With the help of Lady Brittany's uh, work here on um, all sorts of translations, Kester will lead you through the forest towards the destination. How about that? <laughs> Isn't yeah. it nice? Don't worry, Eldrida. You'll get it next time. <laughs> if, uh, if our friend the Bootmaster is receptive uh, to it, uh, Lenny Rizzini is probably going to spend uh, much of the morning slash early afternoon just kind of chatting with him. Like, I'm sure everybody introduced themselves, but like, he's had a heck of a shock, so I'm making sure yeah, he could be forgiven for, get, for getting people's names. Yes, yes, he will. Um, I mean, he's walking. Um, he's apparently the strong silent type. Um, not quite as strong and silent as Gistaki, who uh, really personifies that. But he's definitely not a very social creature, this one. Um, he will speak and he will be polite and, and you know, offer all the proper... Uh, uh, Respect towards a lady such as yourself. He, I mean, since everybody keeps calling you Lady Brittany, you must be a noble. So he's he's assuming that you're a noble, which is not wrong. 
and um, they're giving you the proper deference. Yeah. Yeah. If if she gets the sense he would be pr he would prefer to be left alone, she will leave him alone. But no, no, he's he's fine. He's been alone for four hundred years. Uh, good, fair enough. Though it's kind of weird because for him it was, it, uh, one moment, my lady. Uh, me and my troops were marching through the forest, and then the next moment, there you were. <laughs> Do you remember being transport? No. He kind of uh, drags his hand through his hair, which is a crew cut, but it's a weird crew cut because his, his very short sub hair looks like, like um, juniper shrubbery needles. Huh. What... Um, you you uh, did say uh, the world has changed considerably. What do be some changes? Well, um, I I get the sense there didn't used to be a terrifying cursed forest here. Um, I think. Thou speakest the truth. We could probably get you, um, some... So, the reason we all smell gross is because there is shrubs that, like, fire seeds at you, and they try to, like, get your blood. So, and, like, if you have some sort of, like, a layer of fat, uh, that helps. Definitely not my favorite, but it should work pretty well. Verily, I shall, uh, immediately... Um, apply, Saish. Further. He doesn't seem to mind at all about the whole. In fact, when you get close to him, he, he really stinks quite a bit already. You don't know if it's because he was a tree for 400 years or it just he doesn't wash, but, you know. Yeah. Oh, gosh, some changes. Well... The Kraviki and I fell, but it's back now, so they're sad. Ah. Tis good news, and mm. bad news at once. How could the mighty Klavikian Empire fall? I mean, I wasn't there or anything, but um, I heard they offended the gods, and the Storm Lord uh, threw a rock or something. Oh. That, uh, that, if the gods are angry, then, uh, yes. Well, usually I make my sacrifices and, um, that is it, yes. Well, then. Very well. Well, the, uh, I, I know that, and there has been something about Renaissance of Scholarship recently, so I'm, I'm sure there are plenty of centaurs of history who will want to have a lot of very boring conversations with you. He kind of just frowns a bit. Uh, hmm. That, uh, I yeah, am, I know, right? I am but a soldier, and, uh, the written words on pages interest me not. That mm. might, um, that is for the learned person. I am not one of such. I go where my contracts guide me and uh, where I fulfill my oath to uh, those I follow. Who are? Um, it used to be uh, the Klavikian emperors, but... Uh, I would say if the empire fell, then my oath has been uh, has been released and dissolved. Oh, so you're a free agent. So it would seem, yes. Mm. Um, though, uh, of course, I do have a debt to all of you. Cool. Oh. Well, I suppose you have some time before we get out of the horrible forest to, before you need to make any decisions about where to go. Uh, probably better to stay together for now. 
Okay. Thou speakest the truth. Yeah, he's, uh... Still confused, this man. So, see... I feel like we're gonna, like, work up to the whole, by the way, the Fertile Plains of Oscoria don't really exist anymore. <laughs> just, just remind him that it's all Tricoria's fault. And, right? You know, well, it's because the it's because people angered the gods, which is not a thing we should do. I put this. Uh, do you look hard enough? All things are the Tricorian Empire's fault. Some things require a little more twisting than others, but. Anyway. Yes. Um, you keep marching during this day. It's gonna be a slow slog, just like it was yesterday. Because, you know, you're, uh, going through very dense forest. So, uh, you are approaching the mountain. You should be, uh, by Kester's estimates, because poor Aldrida is too confused at the moment. Like this, but she's more used to, you know, mountainous terrain. I probably that's you know the, it's just so dense around here the the foliage that's probably why she's thrown off a bit. Um, but Kester would guess that you will you will be there by the morning. Um, but uh, this is not the only thing strange. Um, the whole thing with juniper shrubberies and and whatnot that you've just experienced yesterday. Um, is, is that a, is that someone singing? Hear that? Then. Die, die, die. There is someone singing. You're pretty sure it's someone singing. Uh, just a song, that, wasn't that one of the things that you mentioned? From your, like, thing that you did, the fortune telling or whatever? Uh, that was, yes, Ildrida, yes. She, she, she had some kind of impression like that, yes. There was, there was something that involved singing. It's, uh... Quite beautiful song, really. Yeah. Oh no, jungle sirens. Can we understand it or not really, no. Okay. Strange language. Fim. Match. It's coming from somewhere up ahead, but because of the foliage you can't really see where it might be. Fim. I can't think of any reason we wouldn't just march blindly towards this. Huh. So that's what we do then. Okay then. Well, someone smarter has a better plan. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna uh, block up my ear so I can't hear the singing in case it's some sort of stupid sign. Just follow these guys. The uh, Sifanu is still scared. I want to add. It's just one point. And, uh, yeah, you, it, look at that. This glittering of water somewhere ahead. Oh, maybe it's the lake. Maybe this is the pool I was, I just envisioned. There is, in fact, a person sitting there uh, on a stone just on the edge of, of the pool. It's a, not a very big pool, mind you, um... But you're barging through the foliage, because that's what Sir Artigu does. And this person thus immediately just dives into the water and um, disappears into it. Ripples. The song is gone. And could do sing stopped. Um, 
anyone who wants to remember anything of, of seeing this person, because that this person jumped into the water so quickly, feel free to roll a wind check for that. <laughs> who is the best win here? Sifanu. That guy. Uh, let's, um... No. You did all that magic stuff. You're, you're spent. Uh, Bedoviak is way at the back. He didn't get out good plan when we came in as a clearing. That's a fair point. Uh, I sent you a message on the Zoom there. Uh, okay. Did, did anyone else see gills on her? I pull up one of the... Whack, Sorry, whatever. You don't look for the trees. I did not see gills, but that makes sense for, uh, you know, diving underwater. Yeah, this is totally a siren that's going to murder everyone. Put my thing back. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and not, to, not that I actually see shaggy lights under literally every rock, but didn't some of the shaggy lights have gills? Here. Good question. Pretty sure I remember one of them having kills. Could be wrong. Oh, well. This one was definitely not green skin, though. It's true. And like 99% of the shaggy lights we've seen had green skin. It wasn't like notably hideous either, right? No, no. You if anything, she was, she was noticeably beautiful. Ish. Maybe she the eyes. pretty to get shaggy light. Maybe, maybe the, the eyes were a bit big. Nah, sure, sure. Fishy, yeah, anything fishy. about this? Splashing anything on. Anything about this lake? That's a. Uh... What was that, Kestrick? Splash all. Splash all. <laughs> Buddy, splash all. Splash nost. Wow, wow. Ah, uh, um, uh, wow, wow. Boot master, question. Can, can you actually understand this guy? Uh, uh, well, sir, um, we, we uh. have translator with us, and, uh, I am sorry to say that, um, he was one of the other bushes. Mm. Sorry for your loss. He was a good man. Good soldier. Well, apparently not as successful as a bush, though. Gestaki is like holding one hand on, on the sword. So, uh, what are we, uh, are we in danger here or what are we? I have no idea. Is there anything noticeable about this little pool? Um, uh, as you look into it, um, I'm not like crawling into it, but I'm at the edge. You're <laughs> uh, but what? What? No, I wouldn't do that. Why? Okay. Roll another wind check to look into the water. Apparently the battery of my mouse just died. Oh no. Look at that. Uh, Still got a six. Yeah, you did get a six, didn't you? Uh, you're looking into the water, and you will notice that it's, you know, it, it's it's deep here. Like, the, the water itself is quite clear, but you cannot see the bottom. It's, it's like, very, very deep. It's, it's like someone has taken, like, one of the gods took one of their spears to just do right into the ground, and somewhere down there, it just goes on. Wow. Ah. And wherever this singer went, um... No sign. Nope. Underwater. So this wasn't the lake you were camped by, the master. Uh, 
No, my lady, twas not. Um, the the lake was um, considerably more expansive in surface. Uh, maybe trunk over the years. <laughs> and you didn't encounter any sirens or um, light or, or the lake while you were here. No, I did not. No, uh, though I hear that these forests have or this region of the world have uh, many strange things that can happen to people the ransardi shamans uh, are notorious for their uh, ability to curse um uh, master sifanu are you sure that the mark on your neck is not the result of a ransardi shaman cursing you Seems unlikely since I haven't pissed one off in lives. <laughs> or ever. Do you know of? <laughs> With that, I know. Maybe I angered a ghost. Verily, that could be the cause. She was pretty, says Dinja. What I can see of her. Yeah, I agree. Like, are we supposed to sing or something? I don't know. You people who are good with magic. Get it out. Uh, just kind of taking his spear and, and pointing to the other side of the pool. Who is doing this? The Kester. And just kind of walking on the side there. Cloppity clop. Well, the centaur man does have a point that, to the best of our knowledge, I don't think we need to find anything out about the guild singing lady. True. I mean, unless that's the oracle. Well, I don't know about that, but... The uh, moon goddess did say we would encounter this pool. Did she say what would happen when we died? Sadly not. It was a little thing. Was... Well, says DJ. If we're not going for a swim, then maybe just walk around it, hey? That's an idea. Just head down, have him the correction caster one. Right. Uh, otherwise, talking. my best magic answer to this is, uh, but if we put our heads together, we could drain the uh, the lake, but... That's what I was about to say. Can't you just tell the rocks to fill it? Yeah. Well, yeah, but that doesn't seem very nice. <laughs> A cave in to just oh my god. Yeah, I we'll mean, keep it on the back burner though, in case the uh, singing fish person becomes a problem. Funny how now you're concerned about the niceness of your spells. Well, I, I, I'm usually concerned with being well, depends on who I'm being nice to, but no, I'm usually concerned with the niceness of like. It's not nice to just fill somebody's house in with, uh, you know, rock. Oh, I agree. Hi. Did I, did I fill someone? It, and then filling Shaggle's house full of lava doesn't count. That was appropriate. So are the Dracorians who we burned alive inside their barracks. Who are no, you? I don't get it. Tricorians, thou speakest of, Sir Knight. Ah, uh, Jack. The Tricorians are. I'll let you feel this. It must be. Oh, I'm going to find a wire. Yeah, I've. I've Brithity has already started following Kester around the lane. Right. Uh, 
the uh, Tricorian Empire, uh, you see, is the uh, is uh, based on uh, Peritorna. Yeah, yeah, uh, based on Peritorna, and uh, they're the assholes who uh, defeated the uh, Clavikian Empire and have uh, ruled with an iron fist ever since. Ruined the homeland, uh, destroyed the Klavikian economy. You get the general idea. Uh, they also tend to do a lot of business with uh, Shaggle, who's a notorious anti-creationist trying to destroy the world. There you go. Gather Gormgal looks at you, and like the the impression you have is that was certainly a lot of words. Mm -hmm. And he's like, ah. Yeah, it's appropriate for her to give. It's a bunch of words. Meditate on them and you'll kind of... He, he shrugs a bit. He shrugs. They're assholes who are going to want to kill you when they see you. Well, but if I, they... Uh, if tr they try, then they I will give them what for. Fair enough. So, I suppose we just keep traveling around the circumference of this lake? You do indeed. You do indeed. And as you do, um... Seems... Can't help but feel there was something there, but oh well. I'm not a water mage. You are not. It's a, it's no a one, one illusionism. This one few yeah. magic traditions not uh, represented in this group. That pyromancy and wind magic, in fact. Great fan. Of course, I'm thinking wind magic and earth magic. That must be like the the antithesis of each other. Like they they're not are they gonna get along? I don't know. It's maybe nah, that's how you, that's how you get desert wizards. Right. <laughs> it's like having water and fire together. They're gonna be like no. we make sure a steam wizard. Neat. Yeah. Actually a technologist at that point, right? Think <laughs> Power. Start a whole new era. Now we'll invent trains. And Steve, yeah, they were. Uh, now, poor old Eldrina did fail her role. So, what kind of a mishap do we have today on the journey? Um, Giant like, monster. You're not gonna get lost. I'll give you that because we have cast Gester here, but. Something else, some other kind of trial and tribulation will befall you. Uh, like, uh, yeah, I mean, you have the, the classic um, examples, uh, running out of food, or maybe it was destroyed. Maybe there are mispel seeds all over your food right now. Or uh, um, you come upon a very um, intense stream, a wild stream, a very uh, torrential stream. That you have to climb over on your march. I think that actually makes sense. Does it not? Yeah. So here we are then, having to climb over a very... Uh, a, a bit of a gulf, really, in the landscape. And you, you need to get across it. And, and the, the stream is, is uh, quite powerful. How are we going to cross this obstacle? I hope someone's got rope in the inventory. A uh, folding boat? Wait, wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, no. Oh, wait. Eldrida might. I do have rope in my climbing pack. Ah, that will help. And basic rope in Eldrida's pack as well. How about that? Are there any trees near the bank that look like we could sell them? Uh, yes, there is. There is trees there all over the place. Any tall enough to hit, reach the other side? No. Any place where it's narrow enough that we feel we could throw several trees into it, and they might uh, create a log jam of some sort. Log jam. Perhaps. Yeah, if you know, when you can't get across it with one tree, just throw a bunch of trees. Mm -hmm. um, just deforest the whole place. Come on. Don't you tempt me with a good time. 
I mean, uh, I, you can probably get like a tree to log jam itself somehow. Or we, what kind of a test are we doing here? Is this going to be a strength test or is it going to be uh, all right? Well, I'd prefer a strength test unless someone else is doing the world. So you should go ahead with that strength test. Got like, Actually, can Gostaki help? do he it? Has Gostaki has feats of strength. Uh, unlike, oh, yeah, we'll take an axe. Unlike anyone else, got a Gormgeld has an actual axe. I, I I can give the tree a hammering, but that's that's not ideal. No, no. <laughs> so I guess he will roll his strength then, and and Gisdaki will help, of course, with feats of strength because he's a strong man. Not that he has an axe, so I don't know how much his his strength is going to help with this. What what would I you could do? tie a rope to it and like pull on it so it falls into my clothes? Both you and and Gisdaki can do that, right? Yeah. yeah. I won't even be using feet of strength, though, because my RDG was not the strongest man in top way for That's true. I'm going to use one of the chalice dice for this. And you guys know what? I have a record of chalice dice right now. 24. I don't Ooh. like the looks wow. of this. Wow. I don't like that either. Let's not fight a bad guy. Let's see. What? I'm sure it's going to be fine. Uh, the feats of strength. Oh, yeah, he can put in two whole dice for that. So my GM pool will go down two steps. Now, my GM pool only goes up to a maximum uh, of, of something. So we have four players times three. That's 12. So after that, I'm going to have to make deals with you all. So Gistaki does 5d6 here. <laughs> Hulk Gistaki <laughs> does the thing. So he will aid with 2d6 to someone. And uh, was that um, Sir Artigue's strength Malin. there? So that's another. Yeah. So that's 3d6 in help to good old uh, Gala Gormgald with an axe. So he now has 7d6 to get the job done. Ugh. He gets the job done, but he's going to be very tired at the end of all this. Ugh. He's uh, out of condition. Too much time as a shrub. Yeah. He needs more cardio. It's good. Uh, he, he, yes, he does need more cardio, doesn't he? So, uh, I'm going to get Sir Artigue a point of exhaustion as well for uh, this work, because you didn't get a six. Which means that this time you're the one who got tired, not... Uh, not poor old uh, um, uh, Gistaki. Yeah, I don't have any uh, experience good enough to get me out of that, so we'll just let it happen. Uh, <laughs> Gistaki will look up after all this is done and, and look at both Gormgald and, and Sir Artigue and... Well, what did I tell you? Strongest man in Talk Big Forest. And then he will pose a bit of flex, like he is doing uh, some busking, you know? Deidre goes, <laughs> and Deidre will go up and gently caress those biceps. <laughs> okay, that's actually code of her ruffling and saying, like, you are a good boy. <laughs> and, and of course, from Gistaki's point of view, that was just, you know, to, to show off in front of the other muscly men around here and just assert his... his Credentials. He is once yes. again the strongest man of the field. When it when it comes to when it comes to strong labor, Gestaki is definitely the uh, the choice. <laughs> Number one in rowing and pushing trees over, <laughs> and breaking with... metal bars. Their Artigu is very happy with this division of labor. <laughs> Same. And in return, Artigu gets the title of. Demon Slayer. Monstrous Crusher. Guy who lifts crates and boobs. I'm sorry? Boobs? Guy, guy who lifts crates and boobs. Mm, mm. Ah, I was hoping for boobs, but yeah, we'll take boobs. In crate? I mean, how else are you going to get a lot of boobs? Hey, Rash. Amphorae? Okay. Amphorae? 
evening comes yet again, and um, uh, yeah, we're settling in for another night in the forest, aren't we? Yeah. So do do Deidre and Gishnaki have their own tent, or is everybody uh, bunked in with Sibanu? No, I th- I think they have their own tent. Yeah. No. Yeah, I think we said that. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Deidre. Hi, Les. Do you mind if we bunk in with you and Gishnaki tonight? I figured we could brush each other's hair and talk about wine. Particularly that one, she says, pointing at the one of her stories. Uh, she will give a vicious smile <laughs> the way only cargo missions can. Why don't we? I'm going to bed early. Defano, I, I sense a great disturbance in the force. Quick, future Earth magic. I need a hole. I mean, I'm going to use my Earth magic to eavesdrop on what's going on in that tent for <laughs> Is uh, yeah. Lady Brithany gonna spread some some nasty gossip about Sifano? Is that what's going on here? I mean, sure, uh, 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 sure. Wasn't now, the play, but you're not gonna say no. Deidre has promised to help Sifano. That was one of the things that she took as a condition. So, does Sifano want Deidre to to speak on his behalf here and convince Lady Brittany that Sifano is an excellent gentleman and a good cargo mission and all that sort of thing? Uh, uh, that's the black one. Would it cringe? Would that would that uh, dissolve her of the promise to help, or is that going to be held over in some other case? Um, what was that? The, the, that promise to help, like you, 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 you'd need to decide when she has fulfilled the promise. Oh, oh, not for this, no. In fact, she nice probably went over to herself. Nice <laughs> try. Malicious gossip it is. Malicious yeah. gossip it is. Good. Though, I, since I'm going to be a little bit mean here, this is not going to get to be a, a bane because it's not going to be make trouble for the group or for yeah. Sifanu directly. So. When when you spread malicious gossip about Sifano to, you know, someone where it matters for the plot. Yeah, no. It totally. comes your way immediately. I was more uh, more wanting to get out of the uh, the, the tent. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. Um all right. So uh are we doing the same routine as last time? Everybody yeah, is like, well. taking a shift? Oh, I, I've got two conditions I gotta sleep off, so I'm hoping one of the yeah. FDCs can take yeah, we'll, one of my shifts. We'll let Sifanu sleep in. Sifanu will sleep in. And um, I am happy to report that the night passes without further incident, in fact. Uh, it's not even, you know, cloudy anymore. The clouds are completely gone. You can look up at a starry sky between the branches of the trees. Isn't that nice? I don't, I don't trust any of this. Though, um, uh, let's see now, who might that be? One, two... Somebody else getting a curse arc? Maybe. Uh, uh, Maybe then I won't be special anymore. You'll oh, you always be special. special. You'll always be special, Miss Wow. Uh, but don't you? Uh, you're not getting proper sleep tonight, I'm afraid. What? Uh, turns out a misspell seed got in your ear. Oh. No. Yeah. Close. Uh. Just getting that thing out of there takes time. I mean, you're going to make it. You're going to do it. It's going to be done, but it hurts. Yeah. It draws blood out of your ear. Ow. Yeah, that was that was not nice. Um, 
the upshot is though that uh, Gala Gormgal gets a proper night's sleep, and uh, so does Gistaki because they don't have to do the whole night of patrolling anymore. Isn't that nice? Uh, so, Sir Ardigue, uh you will recover your your exhaustion. Yay! No longer tired. The following, however. Oh no! Why, Sir? However. <laughs> You're not exhausted anymore. Then you want to be special? You are still scared and, and like doubting yourself a bit. Yeah. It's just this this creeping sense of dread uh, that you know, maybe you're not gonna be find a way to break whatever this is on your neck and maybe maybe you're just not good enough as as a as a Spellcaster, maybe you're not Stefan the Great after all. Maybe. Maybe. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine, yes. Oh dear. So, another day of marching? Yes, indeed it is. And um, Eldrida will, of course, uh, roll. I'm going to use her fate die again to uh, do some pathfinding, and hopefully she does a better job this time. So, I've been hoping she'd do a better job for years. <laughs> I believe in you, Eldrida. No. Oh, 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 oh. She needs to raise that Pyth Pathfinder skill. Uh, yeah, okay. Something bad's gonna happen. Giant monster? Maybe. Who knows what? Will we end up back in that pool again? It's something you have Kester. But... Um, the forests around you, as you start marching today, it's getting more and more quiet, and you're you're getting up like it's it's the the forest is also thinning. The ground is now clearly ascending. It's not there's there's rocks, a boulder here, a boulder there. Um, first, they're gray, but the further you go, um the more black rocks you will see um lumps of rock and there is no sound of any animals anymore the way it's been for the past couple of days that's ominous no no not at all Ahem. and you can hear strange it's not a howl it's more like a Whale? I'm done. I'm guessing you don't mean whale songs. That's correct. Yeah, like that, that's very that, that, large it, siren. It, it, it's it's uh, it's the, uh, the W A I L kind. And as you're marching up along these these paths here, that you can see uh, over there is a cave. Um, there's a, a like a, a rock formation. It almost looks like a person collapsed. The the, the um, rocks leaning against each other. Ancient oaks, uh, huge ferns, almost as huge as you are. Um, there are. This maybe a, a um, slightly oval megalith standing, and and another one. It's it's kind of dark green. Flint. What the hell? And um, at this point, uh, Kester will say, "Angry, angry." Uh, Kester, stay forest. Bye. Come on.
Look, look. Oh, not gonna. So this person that's laying there, you're like, kind of like under anything or just laying there? Uh, Jen, just lying there, yeah. So we've had the right hand of the curse, so we've had the singing, so I guess this one was the nurturing. Yeah. Would make it sense. Makes sense to me. All right, I suppose, uh, Artic, you will uh, stomp over there and uh, see what's up with this uh, person laying on the ground. It's a collection of rocks that looks exactly like a person lying on the ground. Excellent. Not a person at all. That's weird. Up the mountain you march. Who would build a person out of rocks? Sure. You sure it wasn't a petrified person that shattered? I am not certain of that, no. Ooh, I pick, can I pick up one of those rocks and taste it? You certainly can. Are we doing a Teutonic summoning thing? Sure. How many only, fate dice are we putting into one. this, sir? Only one? Only one. I don't like you enough to give you more fate dice. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm the most charmingest. Well, you know, if you, if you needed some fate die when we weren't playing this game, I'd give them to you. Trust me. Uh, so, yeah, I suppose uh, Artie will lick the rock and uh, try to commune with it. And... It is a success. At cost. Yeah. Yeah, about that. Fortunately... Fortunately, I used a volcano to assault the Iron Tower, so I'm, you did, I'm, yes. I'm this pretty is good with angry rocks. <laughs> so we're rolling three dice then, are we? Uh, yep, yep, yep. yep. Astounding how, you, how we came to that conclusion. I... Oh, there's my six, okay. That is a Could six, so not at cost. <laughs> Very well. You lick uh, the rock, and, um... You reach out with your senses to uh, try to commune with a mountain here. Mm -hmm. in, uh. in your mind's eye, you see the mountain deep, deep it goes, deep it reaches in these lands. This black mountain with its black soul, it stares at you. And it laughs. Ha 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 ha! Oh, fleshy thing for the slaughter. Come, come. Guy was right. This is really wrong. Okay, two or three. That's a nightmare. Uh, sort of you? This mountain wants to kill you. All of you. What? I have good news, bad news. Uh, but really, the good news here is that I've never tried to kill a mountain before. <laughs> so this, this, my friends, will be a new, a brand new experience. Uh, can I actually, or uh, can I ask it a question? I guess you as, can. You rolled the six. As it tells me it wants to kill me like Ooh. as it congratulates me on being new flesh for the slaughter uh help uh... gee it would be great uh for me to sacrifice myself to you oh black rock slaughterous mountain uh where would be your favorite place for me to go kill myself oh 
Come, come, I will help you. Flesh crushed under hard rocks, blood spilled into my streams, sweet sound of snapping bones. <laughs> okay, thank you. Come again. <laughs> Uh, so Artigue is going to stop licking the rock. I uh, smile. Well, I just hey, now it takes some effort to get that one off his top. Uh, hey, Petonius, that is an angry mountain that wants to uh kill all of us fleshy things, uh, and uh, crush our flesh under rocks, uh, spill our blood in its streams, and uh, listen to the song of our snapping bones. Jeez. Interesting. That's a brand new one. Uh, can, it appears the centaur was correct. There is an angry mountain. You, and you said it spread. It. This is just grand, Sestina. And you said it uh, it spread all throughout this region, like underground. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, anything black is. And the black rock is it. Delightful. So, uh, the mountain is awake. Uh, it's literally the most voluntarily conversational mountain I've ever seen. And it wants to kill us all. How good are mountains? Or, or how good are mountains at killing people? Great. Mm -hmm. I've, in fact, most of the time, if a mountain wants to kill you, you just die. Apparently, this mountain speaks very rapidly, too. <laughs> right? It was able to made all of that information in such a short period of time. I mean, it took, uh, you know, a good... But yes, for you, it's a short period of time. I keep telling you, the problem is you, 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 you made Ron's feel too important. Like, it, you know, it was really <laughs> able to keep its captive audience. It just talked slower. I feel like this uh, Black Rock Mountain could have handed out that prophecy in like a year at most. <laughs> Very different prophecy. Possibly. Well, the prophecy as it is, right, does not include a lot of slaughtering the flesh creatures. So, although, we, do we have to continue to over the mountain? Wasn't that where the valley, or wasn't the valley in the mountain, we thought? I think that is what you said, Sistija. Oh, well, but I'm hardly the brains of this. We do have to continue. Because I think we are really just looking for the valley. I think the mountain's just like an incidental landmarker for us. Oh. Uh, hey, hey, Pedonius. <laughs> wanna, wanna try to knock down a mountain? Uh, a bad mountain that kills people? I, I'm I'm all for preventing it from killing me. I I I feel if we knock it down, it will still just kill people. You you have seen rock slide, haven't you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just you know once once you knock down the mountain and flatten it and you know make grade it all nice and even, there aren't nearly as many rock slides. I think that would take more than the two of us to do. I think it also take more than an evening to do. For, perhaps we can come back at a later date. Fine, but I'm putting this mountain on my list. Understandable. There, I suppose that means my list is now up to three things. There's, uh, what, Shaggle, uh, that asshole who was burning peasants, and this mountain. Simba. Simba, yeah. Simba, yeah, that's the asshole. Well, what about the guy who uh, sold you the crappy weapons? No, he's kind of on my list too, but honestly, like it's one of those uh, created somebody's cover name. Woo. I have not done a good job of trying to suss that out. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh, that's to do Joel for Dick Rusty. I thought everybody knew that. Well, yeah, that's, uh, that's the rumor, sure, but I don't know where he is either. 
I mean, I heard it's like disgraced or whatever right now, but like the duchy is in Kamesh compared to Tarnit. I mean, you'd think with a name like Kamesti, it would be. <laughs> but trust me, I, no, no, you're, you're all right, though. That is the fourth name on my list. I do owe him one for trying to fucking get those poor rebels killed. My list is growing unacceptably long. We're going to have to stop trying to stop putting pins in these things to come back to. Mm -hmm. So we're marching up the mountain and, um, this will go well. I'm sure it will be. It's going to be great. Um, yeah, this is, you're climbing up the mountainside. It's, I mean, the weather is, is glorious and, um, or it was glorious until of course, uh, we hear a subtle voice gather. on Clouds gather very rapidly. That's in itself not strange on, on mountains. In mountain territory, like Elrida will tell you, like the, the shifting weather in, in uh, on the um, uh, um, Trismiran uh, Rungli Mountains, uh, very common. And and I would think that Sifanu coming from Kargum was, is familiar with mountain uh, weather as well, right? It can It can switch like that. And sure enough, it switches just like that. Suddenly, it is just absolutely pouring down. Uh, um, mixed snow and rain, in fact. Oh, thank God we're warm and covered in fuzzard fat. Yes, you are. This is actually has an excellent uh, advantage, but you do have to stop for a while because the weather is just not allowing you any passage here. So, um, yeah, make a camp, I suppose, uh, somewhere on the mountain top here. And, uh, we should probably stay out of the cave given the more the mountain wants to eat us. Also stay away mm -hmm. from, mm -hmm. right? Also stay out from underneath any overhangs, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't stand, don't, uh, you know, tiptoe out to the very edge of the mountain to get the best view you can. Yeah. But my selfie stick. You were just busting out all the die types today. I don't like. I am. I am. Yes. Well, yeah, you are all just sort of uh, gathering around some kind of campfire. You can't even get a good campfire going, but the Carson fat is really helping you today. And uh, you know, uh, it was well worth the investment. It has kept you away from most of the mispel seeds. It has kept you. It's keeping you warm oh, right now in this terrible weather. Um. And my prized possession. Yeah. Yes, yes, indeed. Absolutely your prized possession. Uh, that's a D20. Yeah. Oh, that was wrong. Wait. Yeah. Hmm. I see. Yes, of course. No, I'm, I, I, everything. You don't, and that's what makes us nervous. I, yeah. I, I click on all the wrong things here, but that's okay. That's better. Uh, if he rolls a d12, I think it's been a clean sweep. <laughs> I'll better do that then. Look, I rolled a d12. <laughs> anyway. Um, no, you're sitting there. It's cold. It's miserable. But you have Carson fat, and you can eat some of your food that is... Uh, kind of starting to spoil a bit because Aldrida did the thing with the bale. It's not too bad, though. We're not good at feeding ourselves. No. I'm not sure she's going to be able to feed you tomorrow. That's a problem, but, you know. Um. Well, time to go back to that lake and see if we can uh, do some fishing? Question mark? <laughs> Um, it will, the, the terrible weather, by the way, does continue into the night. So you've lost like the entire afternoon and into the evening 
when it, it finally lets up. Uh, it starts letting up just about the time when uh, it's time to go to bed. I stress. So, um, who is keeping watch now, I wonder? Um, same old, same old. Same old, same old. I guess I have the first one. Okay. I'll do the obvious one for my watch and end it. Yep. I feel like I'm going to regret saying that. No, not at all. Dude. See, then he makes noises like that. I just don't trust him. Uh, who could that be? Let's see now. We have it's a, do, 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 at that hour, and then at that hour, and then at that hour. Okay, so. This sounds worse. Before Isami opens his mouth and gets worse. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, Lady Brittany, you have a very nice and quiet watch. For some reason, uh, nothing attacks you or eats you or, or cries you. Tries oh, to God. Yes, I went to Bodonius when my watch is over. Yep. Bodonius. I mean, you can feel the uh, hostility from the mountain. It's kind of eerie, not even having to do your ritual. You're just so attuned to mountains that you're like... Uh, yeah, hateful feeling all day. Yeah. They're glaring at you. Yeah. It's like, you know, once someone mm -hmm. someone with very, very uh, ill intent is watching you all the time. It's like, yeah. Can't help look over your shoulder. And that's about really it. Who are you going to wake up? Uh, Sifanu is usually the next one. Yes, he is. All right, Sifanu. He missed his watch last night. So. He did. Uh, he finally well rested now. Are you going to have yourself a point of doubt or your point of fear? Am I go out with Dane? <laughs> uh, I guess I'll gain a beer. I can take more of those, right? Yep. It's a scary mountain, this is, Sifanu. It's a very scary mountain. Isn't it? And as you sit there on watch, and gonna, you, you, every once in a while you hear it clattering, like rocks falling down. And it's just kind of making you jumpy, I suppose. You're not the mountain guy. Sir Arctic, you is the mountain guy. You're not the mountain guy. You do other yeah. magic, right? So then. <laughs> I'm sitting here wondering if now is the time to practice illusion. It's like, we're not here. It's over there. Crush them. The mountain, the mountain will not be fooled. Uh, Lady Brittany. <laughs> uh-huh. You wake up all of a sudden. You have somehow sunk into the ground, into the rocky ground underneath you, the rock has closed over your legs, and um, one of your items is gone. Ah, oh, let's see. This motherfucking map. I don't literally try to hear. And pick your pocket at the same time. Oh, let's see. Like it's a murderer and a thief. Maybe it got my throwing knives. It got your throwing knives. Yep, there you are. Can I escape from my current predicament? I suppose you can. Why don't we do a fire check for you? Oh, boy. I mean, not horrible, though. Not horrible, no. 
This is where like thievery would come in handy. But yeah, you have a six. I'll allow you to get loose. Okay. With map 10. <laughs> I'm probably going to, like, I mean, assuming I haven't already woken everybody up, I'm probably going to pull out of the time to edit for whoever is going to Oh, great. Found him. Hi. Mom just tried to eat me. So that's a thing. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. You look really. You. Yeah, it's, it's just been a long night. Okay. Right. Anyway, uh, did you predict it? Her, like, I'm really missing some weapons. Nope. Mm -hmm. Just go check on everyone else, make sure no one's been eaten. Yeah, definitely. I'll go, I'll go make sure everyone else is still where I last saw them. It looks like they're all still there, yes. Hooray. I mean, a hostile mountain is still a mountain, so Sir Artigue and Bodonius, you shouldn't expect any fast things happening, right? Yeah. Like flying tr mountain trap all coming at you. <laughs> Maybe some, I don't know. Or maybe a landslide. That or nothing happen. with landslides. They occur very slowly, but you don't notice them until they're already happening. <laughs> Great. So I'm afraid, uh, uh, Lady Brittany, your your sleep was a bit disrupted this night. So you're you're not going to have a full night's sleep. Some exhaustion there on you. Okay. Yeah. When do I recover my exhaustion? Uh, you do. Ex in fact, yes. Very well. <laughs> I don't have any of those, so. No, you don't. That might be recovering with a good thing. Yeah, that mispel seed thing. It's, it's, yeah. But, uh. The year is better now. Yeah, the year is much better now. You're out of the mispel sea. Um. And, uh, yeah, uh, it, morning will come. Uh, everybody will have continued to take their various watches. It's time for you to keep marching across this uh, mountain that doesn't like you very much, apparently. Artigue is really starting to enjoy this fourth watch thing. It seems pretty calm. So, yeah. Yeah. And did I recover anything during the night, or am I still a mess? You're still mm -hmm. a mess, yes. Oh, awesome. Or, yeah, yeah, but for, for a really important question, whose tent did you sleep in last night? <laughs> Who was that question? Oh, sorry, Brittany, obviously. I mean, I assume Safana sleeps at Safana's tent. Oh, yeah. Uh, probably the, uh, I mean, if Deidre and Mistraki will, will allow her to, she'll probably buck in with them again. And it is made clear she's not welcome, so. <laughs> so I suppose we have Aldrida trying again to do the pathfinding. And right well, now, she's yeah, trying to I'm sure I'm in. clear. That was the angry mountain that wants to kill us and not you last night. Yes. She says to Artie Vue. <laughs> oh, uh, no, that was the, uh, I mean, I didn't see it happen because I was asleep, but I'll assume it's the evil mountain that wants to kill us because it certainly wasn't me. Uh, do you want to talk about? This whole sleeping arrangement thing? Not really. Okay. Because bitches want to, you know, uh, one night, uh, anybody can do anything, no worries. Uh, two nights, uh, well, uh, that's eyebrow raising. I just feel like I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, far from everyone and everything I know, surrounded by your friends and allies. Little uncomfortable to be having a conversation of this kind, don't you think? Well, no, I'm not uncomfortable at all, but uh, if if you say so. I'm so happy for you. I don't... I'm pretty sure you don't mean that. Very clever. Okay. Well, 
want to talk about it, let me know, and otherwise I'll let you do your thing. How generous of you. As you are marching uh, up towards the summit of this mountain today, um, no weather changes. Nice. That's good. It's it's um, just cloudy and... Uh, um, what's that in Fahrenheit? Uh... And closer to freezing, let's say. Closer to late freezing than it was down <laughs> down by the forest. Thanks. All right. But Carson Fat, Carson Fat, like you're still, you know, you're gonna be out of Carson Fat by the time this this journey is over. That's much that's much is clear. Gonna have to kill something and get more fat. Yeah, pretty much. Um and sometime by noon, Eldrina is gonna just look around at all of you and say, I swear to God this mountain is moving. Things are shaping, sh changing all the time. I pick out a landmark and I aim for it, and then I, we go for an hour, or and then it's not there anymore. It's, it's has shifted. Anyone want to roll a wind check? Sure. Sure. You roll my health on that. <laughs> you can see it's fun. You could put it together with nothing. Apparently, if it's I don't need to donate to Sylvia this morning. Yes. Uh, who wrote, yeah, that was Sifana, right? Uh, yeah, I got hold, one. Hold, hold on. Is, uh, the, the Pietro taught me geology. <laughs> There's no conversation. Uh, and I'm assuming this is a geological thing that I'm rolling here. So, Absolutely. I think I will try I'm around better than this. Yeah, exactly. Larry, let's try that again. There we are. Okay. Once the best. About That's more Bedonius, right? Oh. And your first check experience. Yes, exactly. I've been trying to figure out how I was going to use that one. Yeah, um, she's right. Now that you mentioned it, particularly Bedonius will be disturbed by this. Mountains do not move. Well, they do, but it's very, very slow. <laughs> They don't for centuries. Yeah. This is not like rock slide moving. This is an outcropping rising up somewhere. This is suddenly there is uh, a new cleft where there wasn't before. This is uh, uh, a peak that has altered its silhouette just for you guys. No. It feels like you're walking in circles. Maybe you are. You're not sure. Right. Can we see the sun? Yes, you can. I mean, walking upwards is going to be, you know, it's a thing you can do, but every time you're trying to descend from the mountain, you get turned around. What? The mountain is trying to keep us here. Oh, until it can murder us. Yes, that's what it sounds like. Speaking of which, just as you say that, you hear a thunderous roar, and uh, there is um, a rock slide coming your way. Uh, why don't we roll fire? Uh oh. To get out of the way of the tumbling rocks. That's not good. Uh, none of us are good at this. Oh. I mean, success at cost. Yep. What? And Budonius makes it, and Sifanu gets a success at cost. Um, so the rocks tumbling down the mountain towards us. Yes, they are. Uh, instead of reacting by trying to dodge out of the way, can I react by trying to raise a wall of rock in front of them with that whole create, God, what is it? I think their example in the book is like for uh, protection from ranged attacks, but I feel like raising up rock in front of rock counts. Uh, you can. I don't know. If there's the a th mountain wants to collaborate. Remember? Ah, uh, can't I force it to if it doesn't want to? That would be anti-creationist. Uh, that's that's not the question I asked you. Isn't this mountain anti-creationist? 
Um, so oh, yes, anti-creationist. Or there's nothing anti-creationist about wanting to murder us all. Oh. This is true. <laughs> yes, yes, you can do it. So, I mean, that's that the whole thing was a natural phenomenon. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll give you a difficulty two on this. I mean, you no wait. This is an area spell you're wanting to do, right? Because you want to protect everyone, yeah. right? Uh huh. So size of the area should be more than arm's length. It should be short because there is too many people to contain within arm's length. So that's a three difficulty three. Oh no. Yep. Uh, I'm not that good a sorcerer. Uh, I'm not that good a sorcerer. What are you talking about? You have two in Dictonic Summons and you... Yeah, but if I had three, I could just do like, bam, power level three bitches. But no, no, now I actually have to roll dice well. No, you have to have three successes. Out of the five. I'm, I'm ah, guessing... Ah, so that's you... not power level dependent. That's... No. Because no. I'm, I'm guessing you're putting two fate dice into this. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was I saying? That is, in fact, three successes. Sir Archie, you faster than anything else. Uh, and that is actually, uh, Lady Brittany, your cost won't cost anything because Sir Archie has taken the cost for you. Isn't he a lovely man? Or my hero. Your hero that is, completely. That is not going to change your mind, I don't think. And the mountain groans and is angry with you. As you, it, it, um, I mean, it's trying to resist you even. Uh, that's why it was so fucking hard. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, and in fact, I, suppose... I could add another difficulty level because it's trying to resist you. I thought that was why I got the three in the first place. No, the three is for the short I... range. I thought it was two because of the range. And no, yeah, I thought it was only two for the range. Two is arm length. So you're doing an area effect to protect everyone within an area, right? So arm's length is difficulty two, short is difficulty three, and that's the standard for shorting. Oh. Yes. So because the mountain is angry, I would like one more successor, please. The um, upshot on this, Sir Art, you is that you kidnapped a Barbosk shaman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I'm fishing in a real shallow pool. <laughs> yes, you are. This last one, but yes. I did, in fact, kidnap a Barbosk shaman and force him to teach me tectonic summoning. So roll those d6 and oh. get a success and everything is forgiven. Did, did anyone else, you know, skullducker their way into their magical traditions? I don't think so. <laughs> there we are! Wow. Oh, and, but there is a Nothing one. Nothing like some kidnap. There is a one. You are now, uh, your reputation as a, um... Anti-creationist evil doer has gone up. Now, as a point of order, though, yes, uh, my original roll was four, five, three, four, three, meaning my you're two right. fate die were the four mm. and the three, and you're I rerolled the first. Okay, point cool. of order, Sorry. you're correct, absolutely. Uh, Listen, you already got one point on me just because I didn't know, or just because <laughs> I apparently without Alan, we didn't know that it was only evil to try to. <laughs> Also, mm. you have no sixes. So what? No, no, have... I'm I'm gonna eat like uh, this. Is straight up going to exhaust. Trying to uh, re this mountain to stop itself is going yeah. to straight up exhaust RDU. I'll just take two points of exhaustion. Indeed. The only thing he could take two points of. So. <laughs> I mean, you could take two points of damage if you want, but you know. Oh, sure. You are reaching out for that, and and there's a struggle between you and the mountain, but crunch. Up comes a wall of rock, and this rock slide just slams against it and then pours on both sides of the group and keeps tumbling down the mountainside. Whew! That was intense. He just leans on his new wall. <laughs> yeah, yes, he does. And as he does that, I mean, uh, we're going to, whenever there's a restful scene, I'm sure you'll have a chance to level up, won't you? I'd like to, yeah. It's shocking. Shock? Yeah. Yes. Very much so. Takes a serious... I'll just, I'll just not level up and leave all my experiences checked. That seems ominous. <laughs> That's what you want to do. <laughs> oh, oh. Highly recommend it from reference of this game.
Because I think it takes a rest, right? I think it takes a scene. Yeah. Uh, but, but I mean, I've never read the original rules in Swedish, obviously. That's just what's in my head. If only someone had told me in high school I was going to need to be able to speak Swedish at some point to play an <laughs> RPG. <laughs> would you have believed them? Because I don't think I would have. Well, that's all I ever needed Spanish. Does it say? At least I didn't become the most well known dark sorcerer in the party. I think we're, I think we're both tied at one point of tie creation of reputation. Nope, it says every, all these changes um, occur immediately. Oh. Well, oh, how about them oh. outs? Yeah, I remember like that whole session. I was running around, couldn't do anything because I could find time to rest. <laughs> Weird, because I distinctly remember that it was a wreck. Okay, listen, if you want to overwrite the rule book, it's your game. Uh, <laughs> that book's not even published anymore. What are they going to do? Come after you. <laughs> We're not playing it the way we wrote it in the 80s. This was actually written in the 10s, my I'll have you know. Oh, well. Yeah, so it's, it's only like 10 years old. All right, I thought it was older than that. Yep. No, the, the adventure my... was written in the 80s, but it was different for, for a different, um, for a different system. Oh, to raise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you we need to to anchor the uh, the raised ability somehow in the story. So that's where yes. this comes in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, to do. Um. Anyway, you're on the mountainside. Everything is terrible. What do you do now? Marching continuously upwards, I suppose? Like, Elvrida will take point and, like, we let's get off this damn mountain. Are you okay? Pretty well, cute. I am fine. Just exhausted. Don't think I can do that again at the moment, though, uh, without it really, really hurting. <laughs> uh, uh, don't you you want to try to kill a mountain yet? Oh, 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 oh. I am indeed. The, the issue is still not the intent. But capabilities <laughs> on time. Hold on. For that, actually, it, it does occur to me I have a different expert. Um, like me. Have you ever assassinated a, a mountain? object. Or yeah. a spirit. No, I have not. I'm not sure it has a throat that can be cut. She's a professional assassin. I don't know what all they have, you know, like, yeah, of course we know how to kill a mountain. It's right here in the assassin's tome. Thanks. I don't know oh, if it's unbelievably overhead. I don't need to see if she answers that question. I already said no. No, Deja is just good. rolling her eyes so hard it's hurting you right now. Like it's out of the question that a legendary group of assassins that no one's ever survived would know how to kill a mountain. Maybe those who are further up the food chain than I am know. But I don't. I, that, 
I'm saying, don't think it's that ridiculous an idea. Despite what Deidre thinks. Well, um, it's nice to see that you don't hate my input all. When do I ever hate your input? Oh, I don't know. The time when you deliberately made me uncomfortable in the ritual because you didn't like what I had to say. Or I made you eat dirt? Yes, and then told me afterwards it, explicitly that it was because you didn't like what I had to say. Uh, it's, Let's just get off the mountain. It's going to be about mid-afternoon when you're finally at the summit, such as it is. And an amazing view from this mountain in, in this weather. Like, there's some wisps of clouds here and there. But um, you can see out of the for out over the forest on, on north and south, out over the swamp in the far east. Uh, who wants to roll a wind check to uh, look about and get your bearings? Any uh, of our big friends. Uh, most of you are just probably enjoying the view, like, yeah, good show, Angry Mountain. Well, don't you? <laughs> You're used to standing on top of mountains and seeing things from them? Apparently, yes. Yeah. Look at there. When you look down, um, it's maybe... What's that? Okay, now I have to translate weird into, to like, miles and stuff. About three miles or so? Um, in Tricorian miles, it would be two and a half. Uh, to the southeast, you can see, uh, just make out a valley with um, forest. It's a very forested valley. Uh, and yeah, that's, it's, uh, yeah, but it, it's a valley. You were looking for a valley. There is a valley with with trees from here and since it's so far away you can't possibly make out what type of trees these might be but it's trees well, if only one of us was a tree emixer yes all right well i will get El El into expert. Uh, like i'll point out to aldrita like okay i think that is where we need to go if you can find us the way there. She just shakes her head and, uh, I'll definitely try. I guess she's using so many fate dice to, to just orient on this mountain because this mountain apparently doesn't want you to get anywhere. Well, wait, could you use earth magic to put the mountain to sleep so it can't mess with us? Well, that was a terrible roll for orientation. But no. Damn. Uh, oh. yeah. That was like I touched the dice. Shit. It was what? Even that was one, so two, bad. One, two, one. You're going to be here to roll the dice if you look. Hey, guys, I'm going to roll 3d6 and get a four. The only turns are around. No, 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 no. This way. She points at the sun. Says, "There's where we're going." But he reaches the peak, and it just starts going around the peak in a circle. Needless to say, it's not going to be easy to find your way as you leave this, and the terrain is changing. All that you will make exactly no well. No discernible, I should say, progress during this day. And what might happen the next, I don't know. We'll have to tune in in two weeks to find <laughs> out. Because maybe someone gets eaten by a mountain. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. The world's greatest sorcerer defeated by an angry mountain. The one thing <laughs> oh, nothing about. So it's, 
it's all right. You, 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 you picked the one thing to pick a fight with that even if your sorcery doesn't count, it's like the one thing the rest of the party could cover. Oh, no. So no other problems. We'll it's be in a couple of weeks. Hopefully, uh, uh, Eldrina will have someone to coach her that time. That is not me. And <laughs> Honestly, we should have taken the dice rolling away from you a long time ago. Yeah, we can get... True. We should have let Jath roll in. You have us into a crucible so gaming group's actual play from the Gaussians Conflux Saga campaign. Keep, uh, doing Book 2, the, uh, the Eyes of the Oracle. A level two. We so used in the role-playing game rules or and the world book for Krakoria. Both published by the Free League. Music by Tabletop Volume. All right, then. You can also uh, catch we our will rap videos on Twitch and YouTube and find us on Thanks Facebook. Thanks, everyone, and for uh, watching, listening, and all that sort of thing. And see you. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone.